Hey, I'm Jay Kumar, the Bass Blaster, and this is your Seafoam Top 5 of the Week in Bass Fishing, number one. Jacob Wheeler won again. This time it was the Gunnersville, Alabama Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour event, and it was his sixth Bass Pro Tour win, which makes it more than anybody else. It's gone like this, one in 2019, one in 2020, three in 2021, zero in 2022, and now one so far in 2023. What happened in 2022? Well, Jacob absolutely annihilated everybody to win Angler of the Year, the Angler of the Year points title for the second year in a row. And by the way, all this stuff that I'm saying isn't all the wins that Jacob has had in the last few years. His fellow pros have been saying for years that Jacob is on a whole nother level and he is in many different ways. Now one of those ways is strategy and in this tournament he decided to try and catch his weight or as much as he could in the first period so he could spend the next two periods of the three periods in these tournaments graphing for post-spawn fish, pulling out fresh offshore. And if he could find them before anybody else, it was on. Now we'll get to the bait Jacob fish to win this deal in a sec, but to all those who say that Jacob is the next Kevin Van Dam or that uh, Jacob is Patrick Mahomes to Kevin Van Dam's Tom Brady or that Jacob is Thor and KVD is the Hulk. I say it sure looks like it. Now what did Jacob fish to win? Number two. Jacob fished the new, not out yet, and not even hinted at, Rapala Freeloader. Yes, that's Rapala, not Rapala. I used to say Rapala too, but it's pronounced Rapala. You put the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. The Freeloader is a soft plastic bait. Now Rapala is known for making hard baits, but they did at one time have a soft bait line that they launched, I believe in 2010. It was called the Trigger X brand of soft plastics and for whatever reason it just didn't take. Now this time it sounds like they tapped Jacob Wheeler, the hottest fisherman on planet Earth, to design however many new soft plastic baits that will be launched or formally announced at the ICAST Fishing Tackle Trade Show this July. Now hold on a second, Wisconsin's Adam Rasmussen who won the uh, Bassmaster Open on Lake Wheeler, Alabama also this weekend also used the Rapala Freeloader but in a different way than Jacob did. Adam used it on the back of a uh, jackhammer as a trailer and Jacob used it on a swim bait head, a VMC swim bait jig they call it, as a swim bait, a small swim bait. Adam also fished another Jacob design uh, raffle of soft plastic called the Cleanup Craw. I mean, that's a pretty darn good debut for these baits. The folks at Rapala VMC, it's the same company, sure have been busy with top secret new stuff. First, their new as yet unnamed jerk bait was used by Jacob at the MLF Red Crest Championship and was just fished by Patrick Walters for a top 10 finish at the Lay Lake Elite. Then they rolled out the new Redline Hooks, which are made out of adamantium, the same stuff inside Wolverine. Oops, I meant vanadium, not adamantium, vanadium steel. And now these new soft plastics. Who knows where all these top secret projects come from? I'm betting it's something like this. Number three. How'd you like your first major tournament win to be by 24 pounds? Well, that's what New York's Alec Morrison did at the Sam Rayburn Reservoir MLF Toyota Series tournament last weekend in Texas. Now think about that for a second. A young dude from New York went into the lion's den, a literal field of hammers down there fishing Rayburn, and he caught so much that he didn't have to catch a fish the last day to win that tournament. Amazing! He scoped brush piles and caught them with a Texas rigged 10 inch Reigns bubbling shaker worm on a sliding football head also made by Reigns 
and also on a drop shot with a 7 inch version of that worm. Man, it takes stones to go to Texas and do that. Watch out for Alec. Number four. Alpha Angler has a new rod for forward facing sonar and it's called the 76er, which reminds me of Dr. J. Hooray, rock the baby to sleep All right, it's not that kind of 76er. It's the length of the rod, seven foot six inches. Here's Alpha Angler's main rod designer, Brandon Palnick, talking about it. Perfect for small, uh, you know, jig head, swim baits, offshore Nico rigs, brush piles. Uh, you can even drop shot with this thing offshore. He didn't mention using the rod to present small baits to bass you see on forward facing sonar, but Alpha Angler says on his website that that is one reason that rod was developed. Also for making long casts and getting hook sets at distance with those uh, smaller hooks, getting good uh, hook penetration. In other words, this is another new fishing tool inspired by forward-facing sonar, but you don't need forward-facing sonar to benefit from. I love it. Number five. Why should we fish a Tokyo rig? Well, Brandon Palnick again, did a real good video about it, and even if you've never fished it or seen it before, it'll make sense to you. Here's a little bit of it. Now, what that does over a Texas rig is a couple things. Uh, one, it allows your bait to have a horizontal presentation on the bottom, so when it hits the bottom, your bait looks very natural and horizontal, so it, it gives them a different look. Uh, you're, it's able to swing free of your line and the hook. So you actually get a better hookup because you don't have anything in the front of this, right? There's not a weight or anything to block the hook point. Uh, so you have very good hookup ratio with this. And then when you do get them hooked, uh, this weight is free swinging. Uh, it's not attached to this necessarily at all. Then he shows the way he sets it up to fish it deep with a swim bait and an exposed hook. That's pretty cool. Now the Tokyo rig made by VMC uh, came out a few years ago and it can be flipped, uh, punched, dragged, and a few other things that a lot of bass heads have found out just by experimenting. Pop it. Twist it. Tap it. It's easy to rig and fish too and hey, if the reigning Bassmaster Angler of the Year loves the thing, then... Well, that's good enough for me. That's all I got for you this week. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Seafoam. Go to Bassmaster.com or .rocks to sign up for the juicy Bass Blaster email. Get all the deets. See you next week. God bless you.